Hello, my name is Will. Welcome to the channel. In this particular part of the course, I'm going to be continuing the managing automation series featuring Telegram, featuring Telegram bots. In this particular part of the video, what I want to do is to actually go over some considerations in terms of the C sharp logic behind the, the tool that we're creating in order to enable us to manage and augment Telegram conversations. Uh, via bots with users. So in this particular part, we're going to go into a um, particular focus in terms of routing chat flow and how this is achieved in logic. There's probably many different ways this can be achieved, but uh, I opted to go for a particular way which uses a tag-based keyword system in order to match uh, where you want the conversation direction to go in terms of the augmented conversation with the Telegram user and the bot. Without much further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so quick heads up, the application might just pop up and uh, come on the screen as I'm loading it um, as part of the demonstration, but let's get straight into what's going on here. So basically, like, firstly, before we dive into the code, um, I want to just talk a little bit about um, what's actually going on conceptually regarding routing. So basically, we have here the Telegram bot chat. And every time the user uh, chats to the bot, this on message received event is is tripped rather, is triggered. And what happens is, I'll just zoom in a little bit. So once this on message received trips, then what happens is there's a loop, and we loop through all the chat nodes contained in the collection. Now the thing is, if you haven't watched my previous video um, regarding the XAML structure, regarding what's going on in terms of user interface design. You may not really understand what I'm talking about chat nodes. So I do advise or suggest that you may look at my previous video just so that you can make a little bit more sense of what's going on. But I'm going to still go over um, what the chat node is right now because just in case you haven't seen the video. So uh, let me just make this a little bit more clearer. We have here my application, the Bot Manager Lite application. And what it allows you to do, it's a tool that allows you to um, manage all automated conversations with Telegram users via your bots. So I won't go into the linking phase because that's not going to be necessary. But what we do, we're going to go to the configure chat window. We're going to go to configure chat window, which brings out the chat canvas. And now what we want to do is just quickly create a chat node. I'm going to, it's just popped up. I'm going to bring it onto the view. And this chat node, um, mm, let me see. And let me just make the screen a little bit bigger, just so you can see. Apologies. Should be hopefully a little bit more clearer. This is a chat node. So I want to put everything into perspective here, everything into context. So when we are managing uh, our flow, uh, the way this application works is that you type what the bot says in the respective field. So hello. I am a bot, how are you? And what happens is if the user um, responds with, let's say, okay, or back, just something random. So if the user writes okay in the chat, then what is gonna happen is, we are already gonna program the response. So we're gonna say, that's great. And we're going to create a link. So I'm going to go ahead and get the node, the unique um, node identification of this particular node, index.1. I'm going to attach it here. So now there's a link. And now that we've established a branch, a root, we just have to clarify the branch that will take us there. And we're going to choose tag A. So uh, we've already done that because we've connected. Um, these two nodes via, if you can read that, it's a bit hard to read, I appreciate, target node ID um, brackets A. So if um, the user writes OK, uh, as we have in this branch A tags keyword search, um, then there will be a connection and then from hello, I am a bot, how are you, we'll go to that's great. Uh, on that same token, if for example, the user writes back, then let's just say there's a message that says, you have selected back. And we're gonna now um, grab this node ID and we are going to attach it to the target node pertaining to branch B. And so now we have a link between the target node B 
and this chat here, this or rather this chat node, and we have a target node A um, connection between the first node and this node here, as you can see from the UI high highlighting up. Uh, and what directs this flow is when the user either types OK or back, as you can see. So now that that's a little bit out of the way, uh, let me just dock these so that they're just out of the way. You probably won't be able to see it because I'm on dual screen, so it won't actually come up on the chat canvas yet. Something I need to extend in terms of the functionality. I'll minimize that. Uh, let me bring back the diagram. Just go for the right one. Yeah, that's fine. So anyway, what happens is, so now that you have an idea what these nodes are, um, so from the Telegram, let me just go down, Telegram bot chat, on message received, now, those nodes I was talking about, I just demonstrated. So we loop through all those chat nodes containing the collection. A for loop works great. So within the above nesting, we're going to loop through all the keyword tags um, per chat node. So there's a property in the back end, and it collects all the keyword tags pertaining to each node, chat node. And what we're going to do is do a search, or rather a, a lookup kind of thing. So if there is a match between an evaluated keyword, so if there's a match between what we wrote in the keyword um, field, so OK or back, uh, and the message string from the bot chat. So if the um, user writes back or OK, then we have a match success and we look to route the next message. And this is done in the back end, which I'm going to um, kind of explain today. So we call send text message async, uh, we update any necessary global global state variables, and then we return the function so that we don't have any kind of clashing with, with the flow, still evaluating flow, even though we've already reached our destination. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and let me get my Visual Studio session. So we're still in debug mode, which is fine for now. Actually, no, no, actually, no let me get off debug, let me get off debug mode, just in case we need anything. Things will run a bit faster. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, what's actually going on? So, if you've been following the previous two videos, you will know that I have a special class called um, connect to tg.cs, and this deals with most of the networking functionalities. And I have within this a send message function, and this happens to get called every time that um, a message is received. I'm going to go ahead and just correct the screen. Sorry about this. Just gonna correct the screen quickly. That's fine. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So I have here a number of functions, local functions within send message. And the idea is to cater for every eventuality and then evaluate some kind of condition and then pass a result. So I have here chat node branch A to chat node. That doesn't really make much sense, but I'll describe what that means. So what we're evaluating in this function basically is, um, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> what we're evaluating in this particular local function is um, the keywords pertaining to uh, a route. And when I say route, I mean route. So the routing between uh, a particular chat node in focus and it's branch A target node. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. I'm gonna just expose this function. So what we're doing, we're saying, okay, we're looking at all the chat nodes. So we're looping through all the um, chat nodes. So I have a list here called floating node list. And what we're doing within that level of nesting, we are actually then um, looping through all the keywords, which is all the keywords that you saw the OK in the back keywords, all of those are contained in a, in a list collection. And um, we're looping through all of them pertaining to every node stored in a list. So we're looking through everything. And what we do is we say, hey, OK, program, if the message received by the Telegram chat in focus right now, is the same as any keyword, then what we do is that we have identified a successful match. And if we fall through here, we eventually send the message. 
await bot text message async. Was that right? Await bot dot send text message async. Yeah. And what this does, we pass as we pass the necessary arguments uh, into the overloads. Um, excuse me. Um, we also pass the necessary chat ID, which we already filter. If you saw one of my previous videos, we already speak about server to um, user monogamy. So we're passing the correct chat ID uh, pertaining to the correct um, user speaking to the bot. Um, so that we avoid any kind of clashes of conversation within um, the back end of the server processing all the incoming events. And then we update all our um, necessary globals and then we just return the function. Simple as that. And then in as on that very similar token, I have other local functions. So what this does, chat node branch B to chat node, it does the exact same thing but for it evaluates chat node, the, the branch B target node. So um, I don't know if I, I did close the program, didn't I? So I won't be able to show you, but um, if you remember, um, you had two options, branch A and branch B. This evaluates the branch B tags. Um, and then I have other different nodes. Um, maybe I'll do another a more detailed walkthrough of the application, but I have a media node, I have chat nodes, I have payment nodes, and I have a new one, which I'm working on. Um, this one here is the chat node um, to access the schema. And I might as well, it's not really the focus of this particular um, walkthrough, but this particular node is still uh, in debug. I'm still uh, kind of fleshing it out. And all it allows you to do is to access uh, kind of a schema, which allows you to store information, kind of like a local database within the application and within the application directory. And it just allows for another level of possibility. So it's quite fun to play with. But that's not really the focus of this. I'm still fleshing it out. So it's not it's not really ready yet. Oops, I'm just gonna click that button. There we go. And that is basically how it works. That's the, in, that's the initial pipeline. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and collapse this function so we can get a better look at the pipeline. Just by eyeballing the code, it's kind of zoomed out. I don't know, I must have zoomed out at some point. So basically, the pipeline is as thus. We're checking branch A in every single chat node, branch B in every single chat node. Then for the media nodes, we do this, we go in a similar vein, branch um, branch A, branch B of all the chat nodes, uh, media nodes rather. And also, just to let you, just so that you can understand, the thing is, this pipeline caters for the fact that you may um, connect between a chat node and a media node or a chat node to a chat node. So within this pipeline, it checks every variation uh, up to like the schematic node because I haven't really finished that yet. So I don't want to go too much into detail on that. As long as you understand the first part of that logical flow, then it will hopefully help you if you're trying to write a similar piece of logic. So this is how am I doing for time? Not too bad. And uh, that's basically all that it, that there is to it. Again, there's probably more optimal ways to achieve this. Uh, I just happen to segment, segment the logic into different kind of uh, little functions uh, that do very similar things. And this just allows us to kind of neaten up the code a little bit and it allows us to flesh out the pipeline and it really does help for debugging as well. Um, so um, that kind of concludes this part of the module not module, sorry, this part of the tutorial. Um, there's still a little bit more planned for the module in terms of creating this this kind of tool, this tooling application for managing, bot app, uh, managing automation via bots on Telegram. So do stick around for more and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.